on mm -hmm. later, but thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Um, we at work, we're really excited about our new partnership with GTI um, and being able to bring it. Hey, hey Dan! Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I think I unmuted the I think I muted the culprit. Um again, we're really excited about this new uh, relationship with DTI. Obviously, we've been working with the previous partner for a number of years. We've all had great success with the assessments. Uh, we're very pleased to announce that we're able to offer the same three assessments, uh, DISC, values, and axiology through TTI, but this relationship is going to give us so much more and have the ability to be a much more robust uh, partnership. Um, as of uh, right before this call, uh, 45 affiliates, uh, literally till about you know 14 minutes ago, 45 affiliates have set up their account um, and there's more in the queue as it relates to moving over to TTI. So most of you that have existing relationships with our previous partner, we've had one-on-one -on -one phone calls with. Uh, if there's anybody on this call that wasn't actively using the uh, previous tools, you know, we really encourage you to move over to this new partnership. Um, you've gotten a lot of information from us about how this is working. Uh, we've gotten really good feedback with the exception of Doug, who's been blacklisted on the onboarding process. <laughs> so the objective today is to introduce you to TTI officially. Um, and we have two guest uh, facilitators uh, with us today. We have uh, Rick Bowers, who's the president of TTI. Uh, when everything went down with our previous company, um, I talked with Jerry Houston. He immediately put us in, uh, in touch with Rick. And we've had an excellent transition process also joining us is uh, Candace Frazier, who's Senior VP of Operations, who's really kind of handheld us with Rick in this transition process. So our objective today is allow you to get to meet two key players at TTI um, and, un and get an understanding of the value that they can bring to the table that's even gonna take us to a higher level than our previous partnership. Uh, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rick because he's going to lead the conversation this afternoon. So Rick, it is all you. Excuse me, Tammy. Yeah. Could you mute everybody who's not talking? You're not as clear as you usually are. Something's echoing. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, good afternoon. Can you hear me? I got it. Yeah, now you're, now you're good. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, appreciate you taking the time this afternoon to, to hop on the, the Zoom call and spend a little bit of time learning, to, learning what we can do for you from TTI Success Insights standpoint. So I'm excited to, to see a few familiar faces on the screen um, and then a lot, of, a lot of faces that I look forward to uh, getting to know in the future. So Again, thank you for your time today. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can walk through a short presentation and um, I'll, I'll stop periodically and, and see if there's any questions to, as we go. So make sure there's some sound. All right, can y'all see that? There we go. There we go. So as Tammy mentioned, uh, we've, we've had kind of a whirlwind process. I get the, the phone call from Jerry Houston, and then I think it was maybe a couple hours later, Tammy and I talked, and that was, uh, I think, just 60 or 61 days ago. So uh, we've, we've made a, a lot of headway in a short period of time, and I think it, it really was from the very beginning, the, the synergy between our organization and, and the Trusted Advisor organization has been great. Um, our conversations have been really, really easy. Um, the questions have been very good. We've, we've had a lot back and forth. So um, I'm excited to where, where this relationship goes um, as we continue down this path uh, going forward. So let's jump into this. I want to play a quick video to start. <laughs> It's one thing to know your job. It's another to know yourself and how to best communicate with the people around you. 
understanding yourself, loving what you do, and being motivated by your daily activities are not unattainable dreams, but real possibilities. There's no handbook for the human experience. How we communicate with each other is at the core of everything we do. For better human understanding, assessments are the best place to start. With the help of TTI Success Insights, award-winning tools, your work and your life can genuinely flow together as they're meant to. This is what happens when our true selves are revealed, released, and realized. The secret is only an assessment away. Reveal your potential with TTI Success Insights. So a little bit about TTI, we're um, been in business for, for a long time. I've met since 1984 um, and we have about 50, 50 or 51 employees. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an organization that's a substantial size. And so um, we are all here to support you. I heard some of you talking back and forth about who was contacting you based on the sign up process. and. Um, I heard Tom's name and, and Stacy's name. We have a Thomas, Amory, Darcy, uh, Cassandra, uh, Brandon, Kayla, Cindy. So there'll be a lot of people in that uh, consulting group uh, that will be there to help you and walk you through those processes. So just anytime throughout the, this experience, and if you uh, experience something like Doug did where you hadn't got an email back, um, we also have a, a live person answering the phone every day. So if you, if you have a question, don't hesitate to just pick up the phone and give us a call as well. Um, on, the, on the website, we do have a chat feature if you prefer that method. So lots of different ways to get in touch with us. Let's uh, keep moving. A little bit about my background. Uh, I always feel like the best way to introduce yourself is with, uh, with the DISC and with the driving forces or with behaviors and motivators as you're, you're probably used to. And so you're going to see it a little bit different than maybe what you're used to. Um, on the left-hand side is my behavior or how I prefer to do what I do. And on the right-hand side is, is my driving forces or the motivators or why I do what I do. And so not only can you get your basics from that, but with the, the horizontal continuum that we're just introducing, uh, it's been in, in an, an early report, but the, all the reports will have access to it starting March 1st. You can really put a couple of quick sentences to, uh, together about a person by just looking at uh, the keywords and the continuum ends, uh, such as problems and challenges that you see at the top, direct on the right and reflective on the left. And, and the highlighted words are really what described me the most. And this will be something that as you go through the onboarding process, you'll, you'll understand kind of how this works. There's a lot of support materials that go along with it, but here's a couple sentences just about me based on these two graphs. <clears throat> I'm gonna read it in, in third person. So Rick prefers a dynamic pace. He deals with challenges in a very direct manner. He tends to be outgoing and can be somewhat pioneering when it comes to procedures and constraints. And so you can see how just utilizing those four keywords and then whichever end of the continuum that you uh, focus on, you can get a lot of information about it. It's a, it's a great kind of opening step in the coaching process uh, for some of you that, are, that do coaching. I saw some coaches listed as your name there uh, on the screen. On the driving forces side, Rick is very resourceful, always looking for new ideas, likes to control his own destiny and appreciates working with like-minded people. So there's just some simple things that you can do to, to go through these graphs and truly get to, to know somebody from uh, a behavior standpoint or how and why they prefer to do what they do. A little bit about my background. Um, I'm from Iowa originally. So those of you that were on right at the beginning of when, when the Zoom opened up, we were talking about weather. It, it is about 70, 73, 74 here in Arizona today. Uh, but I did grow up in all that snow, so I know what you're experiencing in, in Pennsylvania and a lot of the country right now. Um, I've been in Arizona since 1988. I came out here to go to, to Arizona State University. Uh, at that same time, Bill Bonstetter and Dave Bonstetter had moved TTI from Iowa to Arizona. I didn't know them in Iowa. I met them when I got out here. I uh, started working part-time in 1988 uh, while I was going to, to Arizona State and graduated then four years later with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. So that's kind of been 
my focus as I've kind of grown up in the organization, um, just kind of working with people like yourselves, uh, like Jerry Houston, George Richardson, a couple of our VAAs that have been around for a long time. Um, you, you guys have known me for a long time and kind of watched me grow in the organization as well. So it's, it's been a great journey. I always said I learned as much from Bill, the founder, uh, about marketing as I ever did at, at the university. So it's, it's a great way to just kind of have that uh, uh, feet on the ground kind of experience in this process and, and learning it from the, from the ground up. Uh, I started back in, um, back in the early days. I started, my first job was to make diskettes. So that's how far back this goes. There's, the, you can see a copyrighted uh, diskette from 1984 when we first started. But that was, that was the way that things happened. We were the first company to uh, personalize and computerize the assessments. Prior to that, there were companies like uh, Carlson Learning, which is now Wiley, where you would fill out paper and pencil. Some of you maybe remember those. And, and Bill was kind of the, the brains behind bringing it to life in a computer. And he and another partner would dictate them and then someone would type it up. And he said to his son, Dave, I said, can you program this and computerize it so that we can spit something out? And uh, a few years, few years later, it was up and running. So that's kind of a, our first, one of our first firsts in terms of all of the things that we've kind of led the industry with uh, coming through the last, uh, I guess it's about 36, 37 years now that we've been in business. A um, little bit more about myself, married, have two boys, three dogs, um, love to be outside, a lot of, spend a lot of time in the summer at the lake. Um, when I get a chance in the winter to go somewhere where there's snow, I love to go snow skiing as well. Um, coaching youth sports uh, with the two boys growing up. Our, our youngest is now going to be starting freshman football in the fall, uh, hopefully, if everything continues to go well with, with what we're going through right now. And so just love being part of this business. And if you would asked me this 30 years ago, are you going to be in a people business for, for your career? I would have said, I don't think so but that's kind of how it played out. And, and we live in a laboratory. So what we experience every day is really the things that we talk about through our assessment tools and, and the reports that lead to the solutions that, uh, that are provided by our uh, network of consultants. So a little bit about who we are in terms of why we exist. Um, I'm a big Simon Sinek fan. And his book, Start With Why, was something that really inspired us. And so why we exist, this was, was something that Candace joined us in 2016. Uh, one of her first projects was to help us really come up with our why statement. And she did a, an awesome job with that. And really, it came down to after uh, weeks, maybe even over a couple months, to come up with something like this. But we exist to reveal human potential. And we do that through the use of assessments to help people be self-aware, aware of those that they work with, aware of those that are around them, aware of how they fit into the organizations that they work for. And so that's that really revealing human potential with the, with the tools that we have. We also then kind of took it a, a step farther and our network of consultants, trainers, and coaches really are the ones that release that human potential in the people that they work with and the impact that you all make with, with your clients on a daily basis. And as that happens, it allows organizations to realize their organizational potential. So as we played this out and, and really kind of are living by our why statement, we also um, renamed our, our annual conference that we have every year. This year was virtual, it was last week and it's called R3 and it's the reveal, release and realize. And that's just something that really plays out uh, especially for, for all of you who are con consultants, coaches, and speakers, and trainers, and working with your clients. It's something that, that you've been doing for all of these years, whether you realized it or not. So a little bit about who we are, I guess, and continuing on that path. Over the, over the last 30 plus years, we've done over 30 million assessments. Those numbers really we started counting those numbers back in about 2000 when we went to the online system. So that pre where we were using diskettes and then we had a, an installable software, 
those aren't really counted in there because we didn't really have a way to count that. So since we've been on online with the internet, that's where that 30 million comes from. We're in about 48 languages and in about 90 countries worldwide. And so it's we have quite a span uh, in terms of, of what we what we touch around the world and, and allow people to respond in, in their native language to the assessments as well. Um, as I mentioned earlier, 35 plus years in the management consulting industry, we really feel like we've been a leader from the beginning where we, we computerize things. We've uh, started with just disk, added the, the motivators, we've added several different things, skills, the acumen or the axiology that you guys are used to using. Um, we have competencies, we have several um, other things like EQ and stress. Um, so we really try to, to touch a lot of different areas and really be a, a leader from that standpoint. I think the other thing that sets us apart is our dedicated research team. Um, Bill's younger brother, Dr. Ron Bonstetter, he, he heads that up. He was a part of the neurology department at the University of Nebraska for years and uh, came down and joined our team and really has kind of grown what we do. And I'll have a couple slides coming up on that uh, next actually. So we're excited about what we can do from a research standpoint, how that can set us apart uh, in the industry as well. So if you take a look at uh, the different things here, we have peer reviewed papers, we have adverse impact studies, reliable reliability and technical reports, uh, white papers and case studies, uh, as well as all of the information on the uh, means and standard deviations and, and how that plays out to the information in the report. So this is uh, something that's really accessible um, on a site called my.ttisi.com, which is kind of your education and, and resource site everywhere uh, for everything that you would need. Um, we also have uh, a brain lab within our building. Uh, our facility is about 20,000 square feet. Uh, right now we're not utilizing much of that because about 80% of our staff is still remote. Um, so our brain lab has not been open since March when, when everything kind of happened. But we're excited to get back to that. Um, as you can see, we wire somebody up and then this is kind of showing the results here in this particular picture, but we have our assessments one frame at a time that pop onto the screen. And within microseconds, the, the computer understands, is it flashing on the right side or the left side of your brain, positive, negative, kind of, and we can see how you are subconsciously responding to that word on the screen. And then we can match that up to how you responded in the, in the actual questionnaire online. And so it's really validity beyond statistics. And to take the research even deeper, you can see at the bottom of the screen there, uh, that's the portal for all of our research materials. So those of you that are really into that kind of stuff. It's, there's a ton there. Um, I think there's 25 or 30 different white papers and peer reviewed papers and, and all sorts of different materials that are, that are available as well. Any questions at this point? If you have questions, you wanna pop them into chat, um, that would be one way to do it. Or if you use the raise your hand feature, we can stop and ask questions as we go along as well. And while you're going through, I can monitor that for you, Rick, to help you. As we pause a little bit, I'm going to try to straighten my screen a little bit so I can see more of your faces. Okay, so let's keep moving. So not only from a, a research standpoint, which probably contributed um, to our success from the industry recognition for the last three years, we've been recognized as one of the top 20 assessment and evaluation companies in the world. Um, and this is from training industry. It's uh, something that we're pretty proud of and, and excited to see that as we are a worldwide organization and, and this recognizes companies from around the world as well. So compliance is another thing that we're, we're, we feel very strongly about. And this is a, something that some of the other assessment companies in the marketplace don't go to the, to the links to do. Uh, the ISO 27001 certification was a, a year long process that we went through and that's all done by external third party organizations. Um, the, the second one there, the PCI that has to do with being certified and, and 
uh, for credit card transactions, export control. Uh, because we're a worldwide organization, we have to go through a, a certification for that to make sure that we understand which countries and which people and which organizations within, orga within countries we can and can't sell to. Um, there's the privacy statements, uh, GDPR, which is the European Data Protection, and then the C CCPA, which is the California Data Protection. So you can learn more about all of those different certifications that we have, or if you have a, a large client that's asking for cybersecurity type information, this page will give you everything you need to know to, to satisfy uh, what their legal, legal and compliance departments are asking for. So we wanna make sure that everything is right at your fingertips. So a few of the benefits, not only do we have the reports that uh, some of you have already experienced, um, if, once you sign up, you'll have access uh, to the different reports, but we've not only the individual reports, we have comparison reports. So you can compare two people or you can put uh, up to, I think it's up to 200 people in a team and print out a team report. The larger the team, the longer that report gets, but it's very uh, comprehensive from that standpoint. Uh, we have a, 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 an extensive certification process that ties into our learn man learning management system um, or you can go through and, and understand kind of about the basics. We have the certifications in place. We really want to make sure that our network is, is certified and, and up to speed and giving good information out there so that the, your peers uh, that are out in the, in the marketplace uh, delivering results and impacting lives uh, are saying the right things. Um, and another, another piece is we have five servers um, worldwide. So we have our, our US server, we have a Canadian server, uh, we have a European server to be compliant with the GDPR. Um, we also have a Singapore server, and then we have a server in Russia as well for our Russian master distributor because of some of the laws that they have. So that's just something that allows us for maintenance purposes to do maintenance in the middle of the night without interrupting very many people. We do have a few reports that come through in the middle of the night, believe it or not, but uh, for the most part, we try to deal with maintenance during time zones and in downtime. So uh, just trying to make sure we don't interrupt anything that you're doing with any of your clients. So as we look at a little bit of the, the products and, and how do products produce solutions, it's, it's really something that we focus on um, we do a boot camp every every month with new what we call value added associates, just like an affiliate as you guys are. Um, and I start out the kicking off the boot camp with, guys, we're an assessment company, and nobody wants to buy an assessment. And I always get some funny looks from that statement, but it's true. People are not looking for assessments. They're they're out there looking for solutions. And what are the solutions that we can provide? Our assessments are just the tools that get. Uh, to create those solutions and, and get the, uh, the outcome that your clients want. So looking at um, the behavior side, I showed you my graph early. I showed you the, the horizontal version of it. Here's the more traditional uh, vertical version. And so as you look through, uh, you, can, you have the option to do it either way in the report. So we're not forcing you to go horizontal. If you're more traditional and you want to do the vertical, we have the vertical options as well. Our, our internet delivery service is very flexible from that standpoint. But this really, as I mentioned earlier, this identifer, identifies the person's behavior styles or how they prefer to do what they do. And then from a driving forces standpoint, this is what motivates the person, what drives them, what gets them out of bed in the morning or why they do what they do. Right? And so we really had a little bit of a disconnect here when you were looking at it from a, a vertical standpoint and a horizontal standpoint. So that's where this year we're, we're introducing the horizontal continuum. So you can see it's, it's a lot easier to kind of explain that. The other thing that this did was eliminate uh, the talk of a high versus a low. And a lot of times people, when they first see this, they say, well, I don't want to be low in that. How do I improve to get to get to be the high side of something? And that's really not what we want people to think. We want them to understand who they are and how it applies to their everyday life. And so going to this horizontal continuum really uh, made that a lot easier. So 
So those of you that also use the, the axiology or the attribute index, I believe is, is what was called with inter, intermetrics. Um, we, we started out as a, a partner uh, with intermetrics way back in the early 2000s. So I understand their side of, of things. Um, those of you that are familiar with Jay Niblick, he and I uh, did a lot of the initial training when we trained our network on axiology and how to read the dimensional balance page. Um, I think it's a couple weeks from now that we're doing another one of these, maybe on the 23rd of this month. So about it is the 23rd, yeah. And so uh, Faber Larson, one of our other trainers and myself will, will come back and kind of show you the differences between um, what Intermetrics dimensional balance page shows and what our dimensional balance page shows. We've, we've really made a lot of upgrades um, to it over the years. And I think that's another thing that really sets us apart is we're always looking, is there a way to explain this better? Is there a way to give you more information? And we tend to give more information than most people utilize but when you when you get used to something we want, want to make sure it's there for you so there's a lot of information on this dimensional balance page um, but it's it's when you really get right down to it it's pretty simple when you look at the white space above the colored bar that's your blind spot and that shows how much emotional distortion is causing you a problem with your clarity in that dimension and then the dial down at the bottom just tells you where that's coming from. So it's it's really when you when you try to lay it out in a simple fashion, it gives you a lot of information there. You can see kind of how what's my focus in the external world, what's my focus in the internal world with the the overall scores on the sidebars. And so we've we've given you a lot of information there, and look forward to uh, a couple of weeks from now to spend a full hour just kind of talking through what we have to offer from an axiology standpoint. I'm. Um, I'm on the Hartman board. I think I've been on the board now for about three years, three and a half years. Um, so I'm excited to be a part of that organization, that institution as well. Um, I've also just become part of the advisory board for HR.com, um, which we've had a few meetings with that group and it's exciting to be a part of that as well. So really trying to bring the industry together a little bit and say, how can we all work towards a common goal of really impacting people from a, a people first standpoint? <clears throat> so on this on the site that I've been mentioning a few times, the, the my.ttisi.com, um, this is the solutions page. And so here are some solutions that we've kind of really focused on as an organization, the hiring process or selection and recruiting, leadership development, employee engagement. That's the, the newest report that we launched uh, the end of 2020, which is a talent insights engagement report, uh, coaching and mentoring, team building, change management, and succession planning. Those are not the only things that you can do with our tools. Uh, I know just talking with Tammy and, and the team, uh, Trusted Advisors has a whole plethora of other uh, IP, other programs and things that I think the reports will slide into nicely and be a, a nice match going forward. But here are a few of the things that, that we've put together on this site to kind of give you some ideas of, of where you can go and, and how you can utilize the tools if you're looking for more than what you've already got. So as I kind of, before we go through the last couple of slides, which are a little bit more about how you get started, what questions might you have? Anybody I, I have any questions for Rick, Bob? I have one. Um, back to um, behaviors and um, in DISC. Um, I seem to remember um, IMX with their DISC, they try to identify D, I, S, and C to make it easy for people to follow what part of their behaviors you're, you're talking about. Um, are there ways to key into that to make it clear to the client and the person being assessed? Do you have any tricks or, or, or uh, suggestions to make that clearer? Um. Well, depending if you're using the, if you're if on the vertical graph, it shows the DIS and C. Uh, on the horizontal, it doesn't say DIS and C. It just has the the, the four colors, which is the red, yellow, green, blue. Um, and we don't we don't we don't label someone totally within the report. Um, we try to really go about it from a here's who you are and what you can do with what you have. 
Um, but definitely based on the red, yellow, green, blue, there's a lot of indication throughout the, throughout the assessment of whether you're DIS or C. Does that answer your question or did I miss your point? No, I think you got it and I appreciate it. Uh, yes. See another Tam, hand. Tam, Tammy? Arnie? Um, this is Arnie. I don't know if I'm on your screen or not. Um, the, the question I have may be a little bit more for Tammy than from Rick. And, and Rick, I loved it when, when you, you actually, instead of saying the previous company, you said Intermetrics in your relationship uh, with Intermetrics, which is great. And I've been using the Intermetrics tools since our previous company linked up with them. Um, and what I'm, I'm kind of asking is, um, will, will Tammy, will you sponsor a session where those of us that have been using the Intermetrics tools and are comfortable with what we've been doing and how we talk about it, and then kind of the transition to how they relate. And obviously I see they're, they're very similar, um, one less value in the values, but other than that, the disk is a disk and, and what we've done with the attribute index. Um, and, and so how they relate to each other. And so we can transition into uh, a more comfortable use of the TTI tools. Absolutely, Arnie. You'll see those scheduled pretty quickly. And that's what I really wanted to get before I get deeper into the yeah. TTI stuff. That's yeah. what I- okay. We'll schedule some learning labs or some additional sessions to help you make that transition. Um, and yeah, the answer is, is yes. I mean, from a personal point of view, that's gonna make me better yep. because I've got a lot to leverage and so I don't want to necessarily start at the beginning, but find that that was enough said, but that's, that was my question. I, it, and it won't take long, Arnie, because I, I've gone through the entire personal onboarding process. And although there are some, you know, what looks to be some visually distinct differences. They, they can't be right, right. Yeah, right. It, right. Uh, the science is the science and you'll be able to pick it up quickly, but we'll make sure that you have those options. Um, but, oh, what I, I wanted to add one other thing, the page that we're currently on, that's terrific, okay? Um, and I've, I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that from, from the last company. It, it's just how to use these and where they're gonna go and different markets to go to and talk to. And that the side- I, I, Our goal, Arnie, was okay. to make, to get the transition done because we had a very hard yes. stop date. Nope. And then I, Rick yes. and uh, Candace, who's also on the call, and the trusted advisors team have already committed to lay out some plans of action to say, okay, how do we get our folks educated? Because there are a lot of additional opportunities, which leads to two questions that are in the chat, Rick. You know, um, what products have been validated for hiring? And Jerry Houston is asking you to maybe talk a little bit more about the power of the EQ and the SQ tool. Okay. Yeah. Um... Just to, to another point back to Arnie is that this is one of the reasons why um, we felt compelled to offer a, a free transition to TTI Success Insights from, from your previous, from Intermetrics. And it, it, we put some time constraints on that. We want you to do that sooner versus later. Um, so you can get signed up, get access to the onboarding tools, get access to all of that. We will put the, the different pieces in place. I know we have the session on just the axiology portion, because that's the, the one that um, I, I feel like we've taken it a lot farther than what uh, what Intermetrics did and give you a lot more information. But um, Tammy, however you want to do that, we've offered to to whatever we can do to contribute and be part of that. Um, I know Jerry and, and George and, and Chip would be uh, always open to some of those kinds of things as they've used uh, both in over the years as well. So However, we can we can help. We're we're here for you. Um, like I mentioned, those people in the very beginning are our solution consultants and business development consultants are are here to to help. They won't know know as much about what Intermetrics look like compared to ours, but they will be able to help you a lot when just in terms of, of what's in our reports and how you would utilize that. So the the couple questions um, that I heard you say in in chat. In terms of what we're, uh, what we recommend for selection, um, any of our assessments are, are really, um, we've done all the research, have all the things in place that, that say you're good to go with that. 
Um, the only one we don't have a job questionnaire for is the EQ piece, and that's that's on the project list for down the road. So um, we, we hesitated with EQ in the early days in terms of was there any kind of reverse discrimination as your EQ gets better with age versus uh, some of the other discrimination pieces. But we really have kind of put that to bed because it was really originally designed by Goldman for selection. So we, we've really said that this is something you can utilize. We just don't have the connection to the job side on EQ that we do with the other one. So EQ and stress, we have a stress assessment as well. Stress quotient, so we have an EQ and an SQ that, that really fit nicely together. Um, and, I, and I think during this last 12 months and, and probably the next six plus months, it's, it's gonna be something where we still are going through a stressful period of time. And the stress assessment really kind of uncovers where the areas um, of difficulty may be coming from, where your, where your stress may be coming from. And, and then by looking at the EQ as well, you have to understand, are, are you self-aware? So first of all, are you aware that you're stressed? Are you aware of potentially where it's coming from? And then your self-regulation, do you have the ability to do something about it? And then motivation, which is the next piece in, in the EQ piece is, are you motivated to do something about it? And so that's the internal side of, of our EQ assessment. We also have social awareness and social regulation. So the, the EQ and the, the stress go very well together and, and it's been a, a huge, uh, a huge jump in terms of sales this year and, and EQ is something that we used to do a training on uh, I think about six times a year and uh, from the demand that we've had we've sold out every month since July and we're sold out I think through April going forward and so it's something that EQ is, is a hot topic I didn't put anything in EQ in this presentation because it's, it's not what you guys are used to but uh, that's something that we can talk about as well um, the EQ is, is something that's accessible through our learn platform as well. So if you wanted to go through and learn about EQ, that way you can. Um, we also have what we call Trimetrics EQ, which combines DISC, motivators, and EQ and gives you an integrated section about how all of those work together. So um, the Talent Insights has the integrated section. The, the Tri-EQ has the integrated section to really get you that next level deep in terms of how are the behaviors and the motivators affecting each other? How is the EQ affected by the other things. And so it's something that we've really tried to go to that next level with. Uh, Bob Kinney has a question. Go for it, Bob. Hey, Rick, uh, native Iowa and our friends up there freezing right now. Yeah. Uh, hey, I have a question. When you were looking at EQ, my understanding is that your e EQ comes from a, uh, your own uh, questionnaire or survey did you consider uh, using the uh, Hartman, using uh, what we called attribute index or your legacy? Did you consider using that and pulling some of the, that kind of scoring or, or how did you look at doing this? Yeah, um, what we focus on is, is trying to separate the sciences. So we measure just behaviors with the DISC assessment, just motivators with that, just EQ with, with the EQ piece. And the, the, the Hartman Value Profile um, really measures a lot of things. Um, and those, those of my colleagues at the Hartman Institute can say they can do everything with just that one assessment. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe that. I believe you need a lot of different tools in your tool bag. Um, in our attribute or our acumen capacity index, uh, which is our advanced tool that goes way deeper than the dimensional balance page, we look at um, all of the, the 25 basic formulas that come out of the, the um, interpretation guide from Hartman. And there's two things in there. Well, one, just split two different ways, but it's called the reaction index. And that's something where from the, the HVP, you can, get, um, you can get a little bit of EQ, but that's just a nice starting spot. How do you react internally? How do you react externally? And now let's move on to EQ and just dig a little bit deeper. So that's kind of how they would connect to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, that helps, thank you. Mm -hmm. Rick, we had additional question in the chat about what new research is being done with axiology. And since you are part of the Hartman board, perhaps you can address that. 
Um, yeah, there are a few board members that are that are doing uh, some de some in depth research. Cliff Hurst, um, who is also one of our associates, he's on the board. He's been working on some some research for quite a while. Um, he's also been in charge of digging into the the archives at the Hartman Institute or the Hartman Library at the University of Tennessee. Um, and bringing back a lot of the old stuff uh, that was written by, by Dr. Hartman. Um, we, we've published a few books from that standpoint. We've got a couple connections in, um, one's in Mexico, um, another one here in the US that have some auxiliary research that was done um, past uh, Dr. Hartman's passing that is, is exciting, I think could come out over the next couple of years as well. So. Um, it, it's growing and growing. And I think one of the things that was exciting this year and a positive that came out of this pandemic is that that conference went from an in-person conference of maybe 20 to 30 people over the last 20 years to this year as it was virtual, there was over 100 people and over 125 people, I think, that attended that. So um, the expansion of the the people that are exposed to this is, is really growing. And I think that's going to going to continue to uh, expand the ability to do new research. Um, our research department has it on their list. Um, it's probably going to be another year before they finalize a few of the projects that they have right now before we dig too deep into uh, putting out some, some technical manuals and things on our Hartman assessment. But we've always over the years done a lot of, uh, of the basic uh, reliability and statistical analysis on it. And our questionnaire actually has a higher um, reliability rating than what the original one was. And we've changed terms to kind of bring it into the, to the modern era and, and um, make it easier to understand because it is kind of a, an interesting questionnaire. And, and thank you for answering that question. And you brought up, I think something that should be uh, highlighted. TTI does a really good job of the technical manuals and you know the, the resource material. Could you talk a little bit more about you know, what you guys have done there and where somebody that has set up an account can find that because I think the depth of your resource, uh, your resources and your resource, mm -hmm. I can't talk anymore, your resources and your research uh, far blows away what we've had access to before. Yeah, the main, the main portal is research.ttisi.com. Um, that has all of the information on it. I believe Candace may have put it into the chat earlier. Uh, and so that's a that's a the place where you get the most the, the screenshot that I showed you was out of the my.ttisi.com portal, which has a lot of the same stuff. It's a place to start. It will direct you back over to the other portal if you want to dig deep into that. Um, we we kind of started in a reverse order in my mind as a business person compared to the research department. And we launched our EQ technical report first, and then we had our motivation technical report launch um, about a year ago. And now uh, March 1st, our behaviors technical report will, will come out. Um, and they're, they're amazing. Um, our, our PhDs are also not only great mathematicians, but good writers. Um, all three of those documents are over 200 pages um, there's so much information in there that uh, Dave Bonster, the, the owner, co-founder, he says it, it, the goal with this is to make your brain hurt when you read it. And it definitely does that. Um, Bill used to always say, let's sell it by the pound. And so he wanted something thick that he could drop on a desk. I don't know how many of those we're doing anymore because we're doing everything virtually. But um, there's a ton of stuff in there. And I would put our research up against any other uh, company in the marketplace. And the one that I think maybe is somewhat close, I would say, is, is Hogan because they've put out a lot of stuff, but uh, our guys have really gone above and beyond even what the Hogan research team has done. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. And Candace did put that in the chat for some of you who posed some chat questions about where do I find some of those resources. Candace did, and it's uh, the research.ttisi.com. Who else has a question for Rick? Tammy? Yep, go for it. Steve, please. I do. I've put a number of questions in the chat that I don't believe Rick has actually 
seen or is not is he okay. not looking at his own chat i i'll, I, I'll he, read I, it i can read it off it so no I, there, were, there was one before directly to rick what on the yeah. solutions page you you offered here okay. uh okay. are are these all reports based on the same that comes off of the tool um or are these separate does one have to do separate assessments assessment kinds of to um, define a different assessment based on the kinds of report that you want. Yeah, um, it's, it's it's the latter. What would kind of ties back to the the assessments are great tools, but uh, it, it, to really build the total solution, you're going to have to use multiple assessments depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so those solutions on that page that that is up on the screen right now um, are are just kind of the overall what you can do and it gives you the information in there when you go to learn more on, on what tools will be part of that and, and how you would use it. And again, it's it's very general because um, we we call our affiliates value added associates and, and our goal early on and, and back to the why statement of revealing human potential, it's we're, we're putting the information out there and then we expect um, all of your expertise to kind of take it to the next level. So we can give you the a little bit, but we're experts at building assessments. You guys are experts at uh, really taking that to the next level and providing the customized information for your individual clients. And so these are going to give you just some guidelines of, of how to get to that next step with your client. But but ultimately, when I what if I want my client if I'm working with a client and I really want um, succession planning is the report. That's a separate assessment that I have to offer my clients than if I'm looking for a, a, a leadership development report. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? No, you would use this, you would use the same tool. I mean, for the most part, our, our trimetrics would be the tool that you would use whether you're doing leadership development or whether you're doing succession planning. It's just giving you some ideas on how to kind of customize your pitch to your client based on what they're looking for. Or if a client comes to you and says, hey, I need help with leadership development or hey, I need help with, with succession planning. It's just the basic tools, but they go into a lot of different particular solutions. So ultimately they're based on the, the in, in, uh, in Intermetrics, it's the 72 attributes that show up in the, in the, um, in the attribute index. Is this similar? Is that what we're talking about here? Yes. Right, it's the same. It's the same data set. They're just the reporting is and how they combine them is different. Exactly. It's it's the it's the same input, same output. It's just what you do with the output would be different from a succession plan standpoint to what you would do it from a, a leadership development standpoint to what you would do from a selection or hiring standpoint. Okay. Then 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 it's the question um, I'd like to pursue further is then the the EQ SQ data set is the same one as the dimensional balance data set or is that a diff completely different assessment tool that, that is offered to the client? No, we have, uh, I would say six basic sciences. We have DISC, we have driving forces or motivators, we have um, competencies, we have the uh, axiology, we have EQ and we have stress. So okay, so, so that's different than Intermetrics because in the intermetrics version, we we just had three, yes. and yeah. and then all those other reportings reports, um, the intermetrics reporting allowed us to find uh, a report based on EQ or they came out on EQ on uh, many of these other these yeah. other kinds yeah. of reporting that were possible. Yeah. But there's a completely different assessment tool. Uh, what I'm hearing. Yes, different assessments um, that because we really try to say what does behavior measure? Behavior measures how? What does motivation measure? It measures why. What does EQ measure? It, it measures how you react and respond to things. What does axiology measure? It measures how you think. So there's specific things that each assessment measures. And as you combine the outputs of those, then you can do the different things that are in these different solutions. So if I'm working with a coaching client and I want to have the broadest kind of um, data set that, that I could use in a variety of ways, is there one tool that I give to my client or do I have to give multiple tools, uh, multiple assessments to my client to take? 
It depends on how deep you want to go. I mean, the, the basic one that would be similar to the three sciences that you had with intermetrics is we call it trimetrics. And that has the disc, the, the motivation and the axiology in it. And that's going to give you kind of what you're used to. If you want to go another step deeper, you can go to EQ and understand the EQ of that individual. If you want to go and dig into how their potential stresses, you would go that way. If you wanted to add competencies, you could add competencies. If you wanted to add uh, their sales knowledge, we have one on selling as well. So you can go as deep as you want, or you can stay as basic as you want. It just kind of depends on the level of coaching that you're doing. And so each of those, each of those different assessments are di uh, um, require a, a new, new price um, mm -hmm. to give that. Is that correct? Yes. So there's not, yes. there's not like a, there's not like a, a one that gives all six or seven of them together. It's all, no. it's all, it's all kind of carte blanche. I mean, you, you, you go and pick your pick, pick which one would you want? The biggest combination that we have is four. Um, and then if you want to add on to uh, from there, you would add on from there. And the four are Rick. Uh, that would, it's the disc, the motivation, the axiology and the competencies. It's called Trimetrics HD. Um, that's not one that we put in the basic package for you guys, because we really would want to, uh, for the, the, the attribute or the axiology piece of it, that's where it's an additional certification. Um, but that's where you and I, Tammy, have talked about we can um, potentially grandfather some people in depending on the level and, and those kinds of things. So that's something you, that we just have to talk more about and have yeah. a kind of an individual basis. Yeah, I think that <laughs> the root cause of Steve's question is how many assessments do I have to have my participant take in order to get the depth of information? Right. If you're just going right. to continue to do what you were doing before, it's it's three, just like you had with with Intermetrics. They have three, we have three. No, but I was able to I was able to take that data set from Attribute Index and run a, a bunch of different kinds of reports. One of which was EQ. One one was on sales success. Um, um, there's a number of different reports that were available on the Intermetrics from that same Attribute Index data set. So I'm just I'm just wondering how I I can continue to have that level of, of understanding of the individual, but it sounds like the your the whole T, the TTI version is that they're a little more focused on the specifics in some of these, and so it, it just adds to the uh, the need for my client to take two or three different ones, right? Yeah, and I think that's where Intermetrics was potentially stretching what their input was to get you outputs that they may or may not been able to measure. I, Rick, you're 100% correct on that. Steve, because as you look at the reports, there were a ton of different reports that you could pull out under the AI section on the right-hand side of your ordering screen in the past. However, that was based on data that was purely connected from the axiology questionnaire. It is not right. based on additional data and additional sciences that TTI are bringing to the table. For example, true EQ, true SQ, um, et cetera. So there, that's where the primary difference is there. Okay. And, and do we have do we have the pricing for all these different um, different versions of, of when I give it to my client? Is that in the pricing package that we have? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we've got uh, to be respectful of everybody's time. We're at three fifty six. Um, I don't see any additional questions in the chat or hands. I think Rick had a couple of additional slides. Yes. No. Yeah. I mean, just uh, um, here's the. Here's the URL to get to the landing page. Um, Which Candace already put in the chat as well. Right, and then once you get there, this is the page that you're going to see. So that was that was all I had. I uh, appreciate your time today. Great questions. Um, look forward to hopefully seeing a lot more of you come through the portal and, and get up and running. And we're, uh, like I said in the beginning, excited to have uh, the Trusted Advisors Network as a part of our network as well. And I think it's going to be a, a awesome connection going forward. Yeah, we agree. I mean, thank you for committing your time and Candace's time today. Again, just a reminder on the 23rd at three o'clock Eastern, we are going to do another uh, Zoom event with uh, Rick and uh, Faber uh, to get more specific into the tools, which I think 
um, specifically to Steve's uh, questions is going to be helpful to see the differences and similarities and understand how it compares to what you had access through intermetrics. Um, so at this particular juncture, anybody have any last minute questions? Just one short one. The, the actual deck that you went through, Rick, is that available outside of this recorded message? Because that would, that would be helpful. I guess that it's Tammy. Okay. Great. Yeah, send Thanks. it to me and we'll get it out to you. I had that question, uh, um, that question earlier. Hey, Tammy, we'll just post that to the affiliate website where the learning lab is and where the recording will be. Yeah, there's also a question about certification. Um, if you, TTI has been very gracious in honoring all of the certifications that you received under Intermetrics. So if you sign up and uh, create your uh, TTI account by uh, March 15th, those certifications will be honored. I think that was Sandy's question that just came through the chat. And again, if you have individual questions as it relates to reports and how the account is different and need uh, individual assistance, just reach out to Wendy, you know, Gerard or I, and we'll help you with whatever is specific to you because we're really excited about the transition and want to help you make the transition as smoothly as possible. I have a question just before you sign off, please. Please, Nancy. Those, uh, mo the learning labs on the 22nd and on the 19th of uh, March and April and the February 23rd meeting, are they all at three o'clock? They're all at three o'clock Eastern. And as always, Nancy, they will be recorded if for whatever reason you can't be present. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I appreciate everybody's time today. Thank you for participating. Thanks uh, again, a big thank you to Rick and Candace for uh, participating and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Looking forward thank to you. working with you, Rick, and, and the TTI tool. Cheers. Rick, I like your style. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. And we'll get you taken care of too, Doug. Well, I got to admit, yeah. there was a phone call that came in that I didn't recognize. I wasn't expecting a phone call prior to an email. Okay. Thanks. You bet. Yeah, Rick, everybody's been very impressive so far. So thanks a lot for everything. You bet, Bob. Yep. Take care. See ya. Hey, George, how are you? Muted. <laughs> I'm good, Rick. <laughs> good presentation today. Very, very helpful. Very insightful. Uh, thanks for all the work, Rick and Tim.